Hi butterflies! So I have decided to start a circle and so multiple of my friends have uh, found interest in having a circle however um, one person did try to start one but she didn't really work out the logistics of it and never actually started so I'm going to start a circle I'm going to I've worked through the logistics I intend on our first meeting being uh, for Samhain but in November because everyone is busy on Samhain. We all know everyone's busy on Samhain so we're probably never gonna do the Samhain ritual on Samhain but it will probably be the, like the next day or two days after whatever is convenient and works out for everybody but it it's a circle like it's a group of people coming together to worship and celebrate. I intend on only doing my celebrations I with the cup with the circle on the Sabbats and Esbats, none of the other days unless we decide to meet up on other days. It'll be a group kind of discusses it sort of thing if we're going to do other than that. Um, our first meeting is going to be in November for Samhain, so I, I'm kind of really excited for this and um, I would like to explain what I kind of feel like is necessary for this to actually work out. Before the first meeting, we need to start the group book of shadows. Um, so, uh, put in the title page, the blessing for the book, which actually needs to be done on the first meeting. The uh, Wiccan read, I also put in the laws of magic because I feel like that's a requirement for every book of shadows. But throughout our time as a group, we're going to add any rituals that we agree is a worthwhile ritual to do again. If we happen to not like the ritual that we tried, then we're not going to put it in there. Also, before the first meeting, we, I'm going to create the circle's calendar, and I'm going to call people and invite them. I'll be giving, I'll give them the option to have the calendar. I'll, and I'll share the calendar with whoever winds up wanting it that I've invited to this group. Um, this calendar will have the dates of the Espats and Sabbaths, as well as the dates of the meetups. That way, everyone knows what's going on, and if you happen to miss the meeting, you can just look on the calendar and see when the next one is. The Another thing you need to do before the first meeting is make a list of people to invite. This is a Wiccan circle that I'm making, so it will be a list of Wiccans that I like that I want to join. And I will um, invite them to join the circle, and if they happen to not want to join the circle at all, then I will remove them from this list. But if they have to just not be able to make it to the first one or whatever, I'll keep them on the list and call them for the next one. That way, you know, they can be a part of it, but they don't got to show up to all of them. <laughs> um, for, invitation, for invitations, you'll need to tell the people what to bring to the ritual and uh, ask if they're coming on the If they're not coming, oh well. If they are coming, then keep that in mind. Make note of it every single time. It's kind of an automatic RSVP thing. Write it down if they said maybe. That way you can call them again to talk about it later the day of if they happen to not be there. Um, before every single ritual, you need to invite people and do that. I intend on the Sabbaths to make goodie bags for people. It's not something that's required. Um, also, whoever is writing the ritual needs to uh, have that written a week beforehand so that m me, I'm going to be the collaborator. That way everything still works out and I can tell people what to bring so that I can talk with the person who wrote the ritual and talk about what they happen to say that we need to bring to the ritual. and as well as if they happen to be missing anything, we can check around with everybody to see if we can get it. If not, they kind of should really include stuff that they already have. And, you know, that way I can call people and tell them what they need to bring after the ritual has been written. So the ritual needs to be written before I call everybody and we need to discuss it. And so that'll be awesome. The first ritual I'm going to be writing because the first meeting is something that I am hosting.
but at the end of the meeting, we'll kind of discuss all that stuff. Um, before the every ritual, I also intend on having whatever playlist of music ready, assuming we want to listen to music. It'll be stuff related to whatever we're doing, that way during the cakes and ale time, which doesn't normally have cake or ale, which is kind of funny <laughs> that it's called that, but whatever. That way we can listen to music during all of that, and it'll be nice and beautiful. Also, um, set up an hour before every ritual. I will be showing up to whoever is hosting's house an hour beforehand to help them out if they happen to need it, but whoever is hosting needs to set up an hour beforehand, that way it actually um, is ready when everybody gets there at the specified time, and we can begin right away so that it's not kind of like blah -zy, blah -zy, blah 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 <laughs> for the ritual you start off take attendance as that way you can see who's there and who isn't that said they would be there and the maybes and all that you call the people that aren't there if they pick up if they say they're not coming anymore just don't worry about them if they say they're running late and it's going to be like 15 20 minutes wait for them if they don't pick up the phone, wait 10 minutes for them after everyone else gets here, and then begin. Don't worry about it if they happen to not pick up. Call, and, and after you've uh, called them, called everybody, recall the ones that weren't picking up, just to see if they'll pick up the second time and not the first. That way it all works out. And, uh... After all of that happens, you start the ritual, go through the ritual, then after the ritual is over, clean up. Everyone clean up after the ritual. That way it's put away nice and quick and easy and the hostess doesn't, or the host, doesn't have to worry about it. After the ritual, we all can sit around comfortably inside and discuss the next meetup. Like where, which discussing the next meetup would involve where the next meetup is, who is hosting, who is writing the ritual, when the next meetup is, what we're going to be focusing on in the ritual. That way all of that stuff is covered and we already know what we're doing because we don't want to sit around and have all of that stuff just waiting around for us to finish because we don't want it to be very difficult and if we all discuss it beforehand then there's no surprises and I can let anybody know and we can also get addresses down that way it'll just work out perfectly I'm we're probably going to add contacts on the inside of the book of shadows for anyone that shows up during the meetings that way we can get a hold of them and all of that if they happen to be somebody that was invited by somebody other than myself so that you know whoever is going to be hosting has a list of people and that way we all have each other's addresses if we're going to be going to their house to, you know, go to the hosting place. That way everything works out. Also, after the ritual, we need to discuss whether or not the ritual was satisfactory enough to put in the Book of Shadows. As well as, the f during the first one, we're probably going to discuss what else should go in the Book of Shadows other than the rituals. But after most meetings it'll just be discussing if the ritual is satisfactory enough to put into the book of shadows we're also going to discuss any issues we had that way we can resolve them and everything can just chill and uh on the first meetup we're going to discuss the name of the circle because most people aren't going to sit around going oh we're part of the circle <sighs> no no it'll be like we have this circle this specified name circle because there are so many circles of people I don't know any but I'm sure that it would probably be useful to have a name that way everything works out and then everyone can go home and that is the general idea of what it all is needed for a beautiful group circle for practicing and celebrating so that's kind of what we're planning on doing and it'll be lots of fun, and I'm looking forward to having this go down, and I uh, am working on step one for the before first meeting with the starting the Book of Shadows thing. So I'm very excited, and 
Uh, yeah, I hope that what I have said may apply to whoever else is out there trying to start a circle. And uh, thank you for watching. Blessed be.